this is Chef Abigail Christine here and I'm going to show you all how to make one of my famous salads. Oh. Okay ladies, young daughters of Sarah as well and daughters of Sarah. Of course we always start with clean hands, that is a standard, make sure your hands are clean. And the ingredients that I have are the following. We've got curly kale, cayenne pepper, avocado, red onion and lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt and tricolored quinoa. So first things first, I am just going to destem the kale. And I'm just going to use my hand. Now with this salad, there's a purpose behind this salad. It's actually to help the body absorb iron, to give your body different minerals, proteins and vitamins that is the whole purpose of this salad and there's going to be some techniques that i show you all that i learned from my naturopath so just break everything off okay, okay so i have destemmed the kale it's already been washed as well and all i'm going to do is just break it apart a bit more you don't really need to chop anything you know, i just you want to get involved with your food when it comes to digestion it's not just about what you put in your mouth but it's also what you are seeing you're feeling and that's what ignites that whole digestion process when we see food we start salivating so let's get in and now i'm happy with this so what i'm going to show you all is a technique on how to make the kale taste yummy so to use extra virgin olive oil and you can clean the bottle before you start as well if you wish just drizzle some on it and then the sea salt just start off with I don't know what that is I'll say half a teaspoon first just start there and if you want to add more you can do so so the technique that my naturopath told me about, right, she sent me a recipe, an array of recipes. You start to massage it until it's wilted. So watch me do it. You just, like so, get right in there. You just massage it and it will get darker in colour. Smell the olive oil. Mm. It smells so fresh. Mm. Just squeeze and squeeze. Can you see how it's changing already? Squeeze and squeeze. And at this point, I'm going to taste. Mmm. Lovely. <laughs> done this step we enjoy how it tastes if you need a bit more salt just add a bit more half a teaspoon at a time because sea salt is very strong and like table salt right so now i'm going to add in i'm going to add the quinoa in next the quinoa you wash it and you add water about that much i think it's like a, is that a half a centimeter or a centimeter Cross, I mean above. You let it cook, let it come to a boil, and then bring it down to a simmer and cook it until it's fluffy like this. So I'm gonna add all of it in. I'm making this for two people, myself and someone else. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's all of it in, and then you just start to mix until well combined and you just admire your creation and now we're going to add in 
I think this is the star of the show. I, honestly, this is just... Oh, la, la. This is the red onion, and it's been soaking in lemon juice. You can even do lime juice if you want. So it's been soaking for more than an hour. You want to soak it for minimum hour until it's turned pink. Now, the purpose of this... Red onion is rich in quercetin. It's rich in different other antioxidants, rich in vitamins and minerals. The lemon here is vitamin C. The kale has iron in it. The best way to absorb iron is vitamin C. So when you add lemon and kale together, that's going to help you absorb the iron from the kale as well as the quinoa. That's the whole purpose of this. I have proof my iron is very good. I'm just saying, it is really good. So I'm going to add this in. I'm not going to add everything all at once because it might be too tangy. So I'll just add... That's so good. Sorry. This salad is really nice. Absolutely delicious. Pour a bit of the juice in. And then we're going to mix. I can just smell a beautiful aroma. Mm. The onions. Olive oil. Mm. And then as you mix, you want to taste. To see, okay, do I need to add more of the... Should we call it pickled... Red onion. Oh lord. Hmm. Mm. 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 Come on now. Mm. I'm just saying. Not a little bit of onion. Mm -mm. This is delicious. I find the sea salt and the lemon juice together. They just do something. Something right. I'm going to add in some avocado. Let's do this. Now, don't do this if you don't want to hurt yourself. Sorry, I'm just being quick. Okay. I'm going to cube it. And then I will add it in. And I'm also going to be making a guacamole. And I'm going to add the cayenne pepper. I'll probably add it in. Or add it on top. Yep. So I've ch chopped or cubed, shall we say, the avocado, one whole avocado. I'm adding it in and I'm just going to mix this up and now I'm making this for a customer she wanted chili so I kind of think do I want chili yeah I do so I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper I'm gonna put it in the lid because I don't want to add too much you know what I'm saying? It's got to be careful. We don't add too much cayenne pepper. That's strong. Once again, woo, see, it's very strong. The lemon's going to help us absorb the nutrients in the cayenne pepper. And then I'm also going to put some more on top for her because she loves chili. Okay, so this salad is completed. I'm going to put it inside the container. Okay, so now we're going to make the guacamole. I'm going to make it differently. I, when I make food, it's like a science project to me. I like to experiment a lot. So it's going to be totally different to what we see on the internet, on YouTube, in your families. So let's go for it. The avocado. Now, when I am um, mashing avocados, I do it on a flat surface. I don't do it in a bowl. And you will see why when I begin. Uh, let me see, yeah, it's stopped enough. Okay. So 
and now we are going to just mash the avocado you see how much easier it is on a flat surface it's just easier for me than in a bowl fighting with the avocado and then this one it did need to ripen a little bit more but it's fine Avocado is very good for our cardiovascular system and I know on the, in the media they say fat is not good for the heart. Well, good fats are. We need good fats, especially for our hormones, ladies. It's very important and avocado is very good for regulating your blood sugar levels once again. This bit is a bit of a nightmare to get. He's a bit, he's not quite ready, but wow, we'll call it avocado he. But don't worry, I'm gonna keep mashing. Let's get in there. Just shrimp lip our arms, right? Let's get in there. Uh-uh. <laughs> so yeah, she says she, what's it called? This meal. It's, it's high in protein, then you've got your carbs in there and your fat, so it's a very well balanced meal and it helps with cortisol production as well as blood sugar regulation. Very important that we eat in a way to balance those two hormones, okay? Right, this one, I have to say for the lady that's filming, <laughs> so now we're going to do the guacamole. <laughs> The avocado is mashed. I'm going to add a bit of the lemon juice and just mix it, get the flavors in. Now this one, I found in Whole Foods Market, it's called Tajin. I'm probably not saying it right. It's a car, correct me, it's, it's fine. It is sea salt with dehydrated lime. So this is one of my secret ingredients to secret style, woohoo, is what it is. So I put that inside of my guacamole and my customer loved it. She was like, what more guacamole next time? Mm -hmm. And then instead of tomatoes or tomato or tomato, I'm just going to add a little bit of red peppers so this will make it an antihistamine guacamole some people have histamine problems if any of you are interested in knowing what that means let us know and we can definitely do some content on that for you all I'm just gonna cut it not too much That should be okay. Just adding a pop of color there. So instead of tomato, we use the red pepper. And then I'm going to taste it. I want a little more of this. Lovely. And you can add black pepper in there if you want, cilantro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to put it inside. So what I want to make sure I do is just press this down a little bit. 